Okay, this video today is about why we should always check our uh, lug nuts for the right strength and tighten or the right torque on your, <clears throat> excuse me, on your um, studs to your trailer. Okay, so what happened was the stud, the lug nuts were loose and the wheel rim was riding up against the stud itself. So, uh, in that event, the wheel rim cut grooves into the stud where the thread is. As you can see, it's real shaved off and shiny there. It's cut down into the uh, stud. So on all five studs, and these studs will have to be replaced, uh, removed from the hub and replaced. So, um, in an effort to do that, today I'm going to try to uh, remove the entire hub and um, remove the studs that are connected to the hub. But before we get that done, you need a couple tools. You're going to need a screwdriver or you can use a putty knife and you'll need a hammer of some sort and you need some needle nose. These items will assist me in removing the hub. The first thing we need to do first is to uh, remove the cap. Behind this cap, you'll find a uh, washer. You'll also find a, uh, a castle nut, and you'll find a baron. So we'll get into that as we go ahead and try to remove the hub and then um, see what all we need to do to remove the studs. So take your screwdriver, just kind of bump, uh, will help it. There we go. All right, so here's the cap. And as you can see, there's plenty of grease, plenty of grease in the cap. And I don't see any water uh, moisture or any, um, uh, water or anything where it's been um, where water or anything rain or anything is getting inside so the grease is really good next thing we want to do is just remove the uh, carter key there's a carter key right here right here so this is your grease fitting to uh, put grease into your uh, bearing area so you want to Go ahead and just remove your Carter key. First, bend it up so we can get it out. And then just give it a little tap and see if it'll, there we go. Just give it a little tap, then take your needle nose and pull it right out. There we go, there's your Carter key, okay. Just lay it down there on your little pad. Next thing you want to do is remove your uh, castle nut. Just give it a little turn like this. Somebody's starting up a big engine over there. Excuse the noise. So just remove your castle nut. This is your castle nut removed. Okay, just place it on your little table there. Then, in order to get this washer, you've got to give your hub a little jerk so you can pull your washer and your bearing out. Here's your washer. So we're just gonna give it a little, there it goes. Here's your washer. So remove your washer. And then here's your bearing. If I can get it. Here's your bearing. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty much greased, so it's got enough grease on it. And just lay your bearing down. And then the last, you want to just pull your hub off. Okay. And there's your hub. All right. So what we're intending to do today is we're intending to change out all five studs because of the rounding off of the stud. 
and the lug nut does not have the full capability to hold your wheel rim on. All right, so we want to remove the uh, all five studs. Here's the back. This is your bearing. I don't know if the camera can. All right, there's your back bearing. Seems to be greased pretty good. So we're just gonna uh, lay this down here. And what we need to do, these studs need to be popped out from the front maybe. And then um, they'll come out the back. Okay, so here we are. What we're gonna do now is um, we're going to take the old studs out. So uh, we're going to um, go ahead and install those new ones back into the wheel hub. The wheel hub already has the bearing still intact. There's grease in there. So we're good with that. And the way we're going to uh, fit. So we're gonna, in order to press these, I'll show you. Now here's all five, three, four, five. Lug nuts are already uh, position in place, but they need to be um, pressed inside the drum. So in order to do that, one, one way to do it is to take our 24 volt, uh, uh, 21 millimeter, and then just uh, go over that, okay. Our 21 millimeter. We'll take our gun and we're just gonna draw it up, draw the um, lug nut up. We're going to reassemble our hub, uh, hub with the new uh, studs in. We're gonna reassemble our hub back on the trailer. So all we gotta do is is uh, start putting it back together. With the Carter key. Then we can put our cap back on. Okay, so now we've got all our bolts on, nets on. We can just give it a 
a little snug tight right now. I'm not tighten them all the way up. We just snug it up a little bit. Okay. And there you have it. We've reassembled new studs, new bolts, and we've got another rim. So now our process of uh, replacing the studs and bolts is now complete. I hope you learned something from this video. Um, shoot me a uh, message or thumbs up or subscribe. Y'all have a good day.